Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about having content in different languages within your .NET website. Now, I have covered this topic in a different scenario in a, a long time ago. We Back then, we had to use a third-party module to be able to add content in DNN that was uh, supposed to get translated to multiple languages. Now, since DNN 5 something, there's a feature that uh, was added that you can set up DNN as a true multilingual content management system. So let's have a look at that today. Now, as you can see here, I have already installed the second language to my site. And you can see English US and French Canadian. With the top, as you can see, I just click and it translated automatically. Now, we are talking about the content of the website, not the labels, but the actual content, this part here. Let, let, me, let me show you how this goes. Let's log into the back end as super user. And here's the login. I'm we'll logging as super user. Now, if I change this text, it will get changed for both languages, for both English and French. Let's just have a look here. If I click manage, edit content, and let's say that I put here the English. content. So this is the English content. So let's save this. Now, after we save, we have the change right here. But if we try to flip to French, the content is ex exactly the same. So the change that I have done in the English side gets reflected to the French as well. So and the reason is that this content doesn't know which language you are using. Now, again, as I said, there was a change back then in DNN 5 something that a feature was added that you can actually say, you know what, turn this .NET Nook site into a true multi-language content site. Now, let's just go back here to the English one. So here's what we, we have to do to make sure that we have uh, different contents depending on the language. We have to go to host and then under host, go to host settings. And then from here, from here, go to basics, uh, actually other settings, and then scroll down. And we have a checkbox that says allow content localization. Now it's by default unchecked. We can check it. Once we save this, DNN will actually, th this is, first of all, is that this cannot be reverted back. So it's one way street here. So be careful when you check this. Uh, and I was alerted that you have to be very careful on that. I'm not sure if it's because it's not, I think it's fully tested, but I don't think that people have used that extensively yet. But in any case, when you change that, when you check this box and click an update, there will be some database changes that will happen to the core structure of .NET Duke. Now, let's do that now. And again, one way street here, no way to get back. So let's click update. And once, once this is done, we also have to go to admin languages and we have to click on enable localized content. Actually, this is the one that will do the, the actual trick. This option will only show up once that checkbox is checked. Let's have a look again here. Let's go to whole settings again. I'm just gonna uncheck this, update. And I'm gonna go back there to admin languages. You see the link to enable content localization is no longer here. So actually the chains have not been done yet. It's only after we click the link here that says enable content localization. Let's go back there. And again, that's the reason why they are very careful on this because you have first to change it as host then you have to go to admin language to really enable it. So they were very extra careful here. 
So let's go back to host, host settings, other settings, and then allow content localization. Click this, update. Now let's go back there to admin languages, and then let's click enable localized content. Now there's some sort of a wizard here that has started. It says which, what is the current language. I'm going to click on, and it's, it's actually it's actually warning me, once localized content is enabled, the default site culture will be set permanent, permanently and you will no longer be able to change it, okay? So, but it's only talking about the default site culture, which will be set to English. This is the only the default one. It doesn't mean that you cannot add more languages. So let's click on enable content localization. You see, it even has some uh, process bar here. Again, it's doing some deep changes here to DNN. So I guess that's the reason why they were so careful on, on making this feature available. Now let's have a look at let's have a look at uh at the what this means to us. Actually before we go there to the content we also have to click on active because I'm assuming that if you don't click here you won't be able to do the actual translation of, of the content. So let's just select this, make it make the, the second language active, and that should do it. There's no updates here. Let's just go back and make sure that everything is checked. Yep, so it's active. Now let's let's have a look at what this really means. Let's go to the getting started page. Now, if we flip back here to the French one. The first thing that we're going to notice is that the page names have now uh, the the code for the French language in their names, and this will th this is good because now it's telling us that those names they need to be translated as well. So let's let's give it a shot here. I'm not I don't know what is the the French version, but now you know for sure that you can translate this title independent of the English site. See, if you go to the English one, it's in English. If you go to the French one, it's in French. Now, the only thing that I'm not liking much, actually, to be honest, I have not tried this feature, that I no longer can see the translated labels here, but I'll leave it for later, that one. So let's just try to change the page, page title here. Let's go to the pages, page settings, and then let's say that this is getting started in French. Update. And I think now we have, again, just for the sake of testing, we have getting started in French. If we flip, it will only be getting started. Now, the key area that I want to see working is that when I flip to the French site, and I change this content here. This content should only change the French site. So let's click on manage, edit content, and let's go to, let's scroll down, not sure why this is showing up at the top. Let's scroll down and let's change this, the French content. And let's see if this will only change the French version. Okay, so we are in the French version. We see the French content here. If we flip to the English version, we see the English content. So as you can see now, the content really knows that we are in the French or in the English site. And that's what we wanted here. Now, I'm just not sure why the labels are not getting changed together. If we flip to French, it's not changing here and it was before. Later, I'll try to track this down and see how we can make sure that the resources are also working together. But again, this is the first time that I've tried the actual content localization that comes default in .NET Thank you very much. And that's it for now. Bye.